I got it back. Again. What is up, guys? We are back with another epic PSA return video, and we are returning one of my most epic cards for the second time. I sent in my Ghost Rare First Edition Black Rose Dragon, and it got a 9 the first time, and I thought this card should get a 10. Okay, check this one out. This one is in better condition with those corners. Please don't have damage the corners. Oh my gosh. Okay, check the foil out. Okay, the corners on this one look good. Let's check the back. I mean, look at those. Those are, those are nice. There is like, I think there was like a half print line in here somewhere. The centering's not great on the back, but it is the back, so. Guys, I'm going to legitimately be angry if this isn't a 10. <laughs> what? How is this one a 9? What? So, what did I do? I did nothing for like a year, and I decided, you know what? Now's the time. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can get a better grade this time. Also, guys, I'm going to be doing a new series called Worth It or Not, where you post your sealed product or your cards that you want to grade on Reddit, r slash Ruxin34, with the hashtag Worth It or Not. And then you guys ask me, do you think it's worth it for me to open, you know, a specific product that you have that you're thinking about opening or a card that you're thinking about grading? Is it worth grading? You got to put pictures if you do that, though, or, or videos, something like that. So that I can look at the card and determine, is it worth grading? So go to r slash rocks 34 on Reddit. If you guys want to participate and be in the video, actually post something there and I can review it on the video. I think it'll be pretty fun. It should be a pretty fun way for me to interact with you guys. And I get that question all the time. Like, should I grade this card? Is it worth me grading this card? When should I grade this card? Should I grade it for $200, $300, $20, whatever it comes back? And then I always get the question, should I open this set? Should I not open this set? And now we can kind of answer that question on video so everyone can see it. And I'm not answering it over and over just like to single people. That way it gets out to more people and you guys get more content. So I think it'd be pretty cool. But first we do have a giveaway and this one is a pretty epic giveaway. We've got an entire Dawn of Majesty first edition box. So if you guys saw the stream where we went to 90K the other day, we opened up nine boxes of this set and pulled two starlights, not just two starlights but the starlight the second one we got was the one we were looking for the legendary stardust dragon yeah so if you have not seen that video yet i'm probably gonna have it in the outro soon because it was insane i posted it on twitter posted it on instagram go follow me at ruxin34 on those social media platforms because i'm posting tons of stuff constantly i love interacting with you guys on there so go follow me okay so we got this beautiful card which may or may not be part of a psa submission soon let me know if you guys think i should do a pre-grade on it and then send it in and then see if we can get the 10. Let me know if you guys would want to see that. And back to the giveaway. This is from the same case as the two starlights. Full disclosure, so you probably won't get a starlight unless it's the most insane case of all time with three starlights, but you can still get some good cards and it's free. So pretty awesome. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about the new series, worth it or not. Okay, let's get into the big reveal. The Black Rose Dragon, guys. Ghost Rare, first edition. PSA 10s of this card are insane. So we're really hoping that it at least gets a 9. And uh, a 10 would be absolutely nuts. So let's open this up. You guys know how opening these packages is. It's very difficult. Um, that actually went really well. <laughs> I cut that really well. And then that. Okay. And this is the tough part. It's like, where do you cut? I think it's right here. There it is. Boom. Okay, did I figure it out? Boom, look at that. Okay, we have one card. Let's make sure we don't spoil it. So it's going to be on one side. Which side is it? Okay, that's the back. Okay, that's the back. Let's not let's not ruin the reveal. Pull it out like this. Now let's pull out the card slowly but surely. There we go. Okay, we have the one and only Black Rose. Let's check the back first of all. Looks like it is pretty decent. There's a couple speckles. I think those are just on the sleeve. So I think we're okay there. Which is nice. Nothing on the back. That's a good start. All right. Back looks pretty good. Let's check out the corners. I believe there is some sort of mini scratch in there somewhere. I can't remember though. Totally where it was. But I thought there was a scratch when I looked over it. Um, that was like the main issue. That was about it. The corners look pretty good. The back centering is not completely perfect. If you guys look at it, it's a little bit off. There's me. Hello, guys. Um, but uh, yeah. So let's cover it up. The front, check this out, guys. Centering's pretty good on the front. Foil, absolutely beautiful. I mean, just a beauty on the foil. It looks super good. Let's check out the corners. 
Corner looks. Let's see. Is there anything going on? No, that's just part of the case. That little dot you guys see. Um, yeah, that looks good. That looks pretty good. And that looks good. All right. Very strong car. What do you guys think? You guys think it has a chance at the 10? I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's so tough to grade these ghost rares. So uh, I think a, there's no telling what the 10s are worth. I think the 9s are around like four or $5,000. So 9's still really good. Um, tens are insane they're super high also i want to mention i use the super express for this because i know it's a really expensive card if it got a 10 it would need to be at least super expressed um so i sent it in for 300 dollars, and they graded it in one day so if you do spend the actual big money for the big cards because you're technically supposed to because when the card is worth a certain amount it has to be at a certain level so that's what the up charges are for they need to put it in the correct amount or whatever so I had to spend $300 and it was super fast. So I was glad that at least if I'm going to send in an expensive card, it comes back quickly. Okay. Are you guys ready? I'm a little bit scared. I'm scared to look at this thing. Whew. Like button for luck, guys. Here we go. Okay, this is why, this is why it was worth it. So I retried this card, as I said, but I graded it a very long time ago. And I, you guys remember that original video? I was like, this is a 10. I said it a lot of times. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there was like, when I when I cracked it out, actually I didn't, Lewis cracked it for me because, uh, <laughs> because I'm too scared to crack this kind of card. But first of all, this is insane. But I saw... I think I remember there being like a small scratch. Is that it right there? That might be it. There was like a small scratch on the back. So I was thinking, I hope that might have been the original reason, but I don't remember that scratch. So that's pretty much it. Cause like, look at this, look at this card guys. Wow, guys, that is absolutely insane. Honestly, this could be my most expensive card now. Cause right, cause it's morphing jar, I think right now actually jenzo my other jenzo because jenzo has gotten crazy in price i don't know what this is worth i have no idea so put in the comments if you guys have any idea what you think this this card is worth in a psa 10 first edition ghost rare i don't know i really don't this is crazy this is huge what a return video this this was worthy of one this is worthy of a one card return oh my goodness we finally hit something big guys Okay, I say that, but we had a huge return. But we finally hit a one card. Something big, one card. There we go. Wow, that's pretty crazy, guys. That is nuts. All right, PSA. PSA 10. That's pretty cool. I do have some more returns coming up. We have two from the Legacy of Darkness break, and then the Pharaoh Servant. If you guys have not seen the Pharaoh Servant video, go check it out. It was crazy. Everyone had insane pulls and we're doing most of those cards are being graded and they're coming back uh probably in a couple weeks so that's gonna be a pretty cool return as well we got a genzo in there buster blader thousand eyes are straight legendary fisherman imperial order all that stuff is in there so it's gonna be a really good return so uh look out for those we have some epic stuff coming up as well such as the special edition opening which you guys it's supposed to be here today the last special edition we'll see if it shows up if it shows up today, I'll record this weekend, I'll edit it throughout the week, and you guys will see it next Saturday. That's the plan. That's going to be crazy. I really hope that happens. I also have a, a, another big tin opening coming up you guys might enjoy. So hopefully that'll come soon as well. So this was a crazy video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are 10,000 subscribers away from 100,000. You guys know what we're doing there. Retro Pack 2 opening and more. I'm so excited. So that's it for this video, guys. I will see you guys later. Peace. Dark Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!